we start prepping fruits and vegetables for a meal, the first thing we reach for is a knife. That's right. Off come the peels, stems, tops, and out come the cores. And then, of course, you toss it, right? No, KG. No, stop right there because you're wasting food. We're turning what could be compost into cuisine, and that's our featured story at the top of the list. When thinking about sustainability, saving food should be at the top of the list. It saves you money. The more nutrients and more that you can get out of the things that you buy, the less you're going to the grocery store, the less you're spending on food if you're fighting that food waste. We're learning what foods you should stop throwing away with YouTube food blogger Jerry James Stone. Starting off with the tops of strawberries. They're actually edible and they're highly nutritious. So you can pluck off those leaves and put them in a salad or you can leave them on if you're blending strawberries into a smoothie. And as far as the benefits go, they're high in antioxidants. They're just a really great thing to add to your diet. The more that you can get those nutrients from actual fruit versus, you know, taking vitamins, the better your body absorbs that stuff. Next up, kiwi skins. Kiwi skins, I mean, they don't look attractive to eat. You know, they're actually so high in fiber, so high in nutrients that tossing them out just doesn't really make sense if you're really trying to get the most out of your food. And no, we're not saying to just eat the skins raw. But what I'll do is when I do peel the kiwi skins, I'll save them. I'll put them in a freezer bag and just freeze them up. And next time I'm making a, you know, a green smoothie, just pop those kiwi skins in with a smoothie. If you blend it enough, you don't even know they're there and you just get all that nutrients, all those antioxidants. And you may have heard that the skin of apples is good for you, but you may not know the core is also beneficial. Those always end up in the trash, but you can make homemade apple cider vinegar and it's really easy. You literally just take all of those leftover scraps. I'm talking, you can take the cores, the peels. Now you can freeze them beforehand. Just put it in a glass jar with a little bit of sugar, cover it, keep it somewhere in a cool, dry place, and it will ferment into your own homemade apple cider vinegar. And we're seeing all the benefits of apple cider vinegar these days from nutrition, gut health, all that stuff. And so obviously making your own is a really great way to start that. So you can definitely use those scraps for that. The last food to stop tossing in the trash? Onion skins. They're really high in fiber. They're really high in antioxidants. You know, if you have a large whole onion skin, you can take a couple of those onion skins and put them in, you know, some cheesecloth, put it in your soup broth. It'll help leach those nutrients into the soup or stew that you're making. Another thing that you can do is you can actually put it in a food processor if you have that and just pulverize it till it's kind of a powder and then mix it into the soup or the stew. The thing is you get those nutrients, you get those antioxidants, you get that fiber in there. It's just another way to get the most out of the produce that you're buying. We're giving you ways to save the food you usually throw out at the top of the list.